everyone, it's Julia. I'm turning the camera on today and showing you what I've been working on. This is like, I'm using my jelly plate and doing a, using a new stencil on it. I've, a stencil that I have not ever used before. It's new to me. Um, and just wanted to talk a little bit. I feel, I feel like I've been missing in action. Do you ever feel like you're, you have like four, four plates spinning at once and you're just trying to keep them spinning? That's, that's how I've been feeling lately. I have a little summer shop here in Minnesota and it's open, it starts, it starts Memorial weekend. It's only open on the weekends and it's part of our, my, the flea market that's, that's local here. We had such a cold April with snow and just unseasonably cold weather, cold weather in April. And now, now May is a come and it's beautiful out, but I'm behind with just getting my shop set up. So I've been working down there every day, pretty much every day, just cleaning and trying to straighten things out and figure out what I'm going to be putting where and that type of thing. So bear with me. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for all of you and just yeah, bear with me with when I'm um, in, the, in this transition period of, of that I, I go through every spring. I, it's nothing new. But yeah, just trying to keep those plates spinning and, and sometimes not doing a very good job of it. But I've, I have this bee, this a honeybee stencil from Plaid that I picked up at, at Tuesday morning. And it's, I love honeybees. And it's, it's that time. So I thought I'm going to break it out and do some projects from my Etsy shop. I ended up doing, I think there's five different projects that I, and I'll show pictures at the end. Basically this video, I just turned the camera on while I was doing this jelly printing. And I'm using acrylic paints. And just doing, I believe I used three different types of fabric. This one right that you see right now is the MPC or the multi-purpose cloth, which is like a heavier canvas that you can it takes paint very well. I do sell this MPC in my shop. If anybody wants to, to try a small sample sample of it, I will link that down below also my Etsy listing so you can you can it's fun to work with. It takes paint really well and it's easy to stencil on. It's quite smooth and it doesn't fray. So it's a it works well for pencil cases. And in this video I, I am making pencil cases with, with this MPC. But I also am been I'm printing on a piece of denim, a white denim, and a upholstery remnant. And the upholstery rem remnant turned into a really large, fun bag. So you'll see pictures of that at the end also. But you'll see I'm just doing all sorts of different layering. I'm just putting the paint on. Occasionally you'll see me squirt some a white, like a runny white. That's a, the fabric medium. And a lot of times I'll put that right on the plate. The fabric medium is, I use a golden fabric medium. And it does help keep the uh, acrylic paint softer on the fabric. And it also keeps the open time a little bit on the paint. So I, it doesn't dry out so quickly on my, on my jelly plate. You'll see me here, I'm going in with just a stencil brush and not even really using my jelly plate. Oh, it's more accurate that way and you can do a little bit more shading with, with just the stencil brush. So I'm doing it both ways. Yeah, there's the fabric medium that you see me squirt on the plate. And I believe this is, I'm going to be using the, um, the denim on this next one here, the white denim. One thing when you're doing different fabrics, each one's going to take paint differently. The white denim is quite textured. It has a twill in it. And it, you know, it takes paint a little differently, not as, oh, it just doesn't cover quite as well. So just, you know, I just use different layers with it. This is back to... Uh, this is the denim also. This this turned out really, uh, it made a nice, fun project. On I did a journal with this, and it actually sold right away. So I no longer have that in my shop, this little um, journal cover. 
but that, yeah, it turned out really fun. And honestly, while I'm doing this, these all look really boring, <laughs> but it's, it's fun how they all come together with just different layers. This is a teeny tiny little honeycomb stencil that I'm just putting on the top. Again, that's just going to add a little bit more texture and just a fun little element. Another thing that I use on this is bubble wrap that gives it a fun, fun look. This is a metallic paint, and I believe this is just an inexpensive craft paint. I probably picked it up at either Walmart or, or Michael's. I'm just adding, this is like a, a burnt umber, I believe. Those large tubes of acrylic paint that you see there are Windsor and Newton. And I got all, I got 12 of these large tubes at a thrift store. I couldn't believe it. Somebody must have had a good idea and then they just didn't use them. And I mean, some of them had a little bit of paint used out of them, but most of them were pretty full. So that was, I scored on that because these, they just are going a long ways. You'll notice here's where I'm starting with the um, tapestry or the upholstery remnant. And I first of all print it on the right side and I don't like it. And so I flipped it over and I, I'm actually using the wrong side of the upholstery fabric for the outside of my bag. I, I like that one a lot, lot better. I also wanted just to talk a little bit about how incredible this whole YouTube journey has been for me. I am almost to 10,000 subscribers and I just, I can't even believe it. Not only that, but I, I just feel like I've made friends. Everybody is creative and they have so many good ideas and leave so many wonderful comments and I, I try, I read all the comments and I'm, I'm really trying to respond right away, but I have gotten, I've gotten bad the last couple of weeks just because of, of everything else I've been, I've been doing. But I just want to tell you how much I appreciate all of you. And I, 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 and I so appreciate this sewing community. The, my whole purpose of this YouTube channel was to show, just to share my passion and to inspire others to also just go for it. And I am experienced in some things, but I am such a beginner in so many other things. And I, and I think in my almost 60 years of life, I have just figured, finally figured it out that you just have to go for it. And I love the fact that you, so many of you are telling me, you know, just giving me ideas and and sharing what you do and what you use and you know it's just like a light bulb moment so many times so thank you so much I appreciate you it's just been a wonderful a wonderful journey for me I believe I'm back to the piece of denim now and just adding that little that little honeycomb stencil and here's the B the B is in a two, two step and I'm putting it on muslin. I'm putting that on the, the MPC, a scrap of the MPC. And I also put it directly on a piece of the, the one of the projects also. The ones I'm doing right now will be actually cut out and used as an applique. So you can do them a couple different ways. I did combine two different colors. I mixed the cad yellow deep hue and the burnt umber to get this mustard color. And I really, I really love this color. And that also, I painted that same color on the inside of my pencil bags. This is quite a, a large stencil. I think it's almost like three inches across. I 
put that aside to dry and then with another piece of the scrap MPC I again, again just using that same mustard colored and just adding some of that smaller honeycomb stencil and onto the second layer that of the two-step honeybee where I'm just adding the uh, the dark burnt umber paint to this honeybee to get the outline and the stripes and here's the one I'm sorry this is off screen a little bit but here's the one that I'm adding the bee directly onto the on the onto the piece these scraps of the MPC I'm running through my uh, my Sizzix Big Shot with the hexagon stencil, the Sizzix stencil. This is the, the hexagon that's one inch sides. I love hexagons. I've never done a quilt with them, but I think the little hexes, I just love them. And I'm just deciding what I'm going to do. I'm going to add these as an applique on some of my projects. And here's the pictures. Did several little pouches front and the back. And this is a coin purse, so it's a little bit smaller. And another pencil case. Here's the journal. I just love it. That's the front. And then the front and the back as it's open. And, and then the inside of it. And here's the bag. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a creative day. Bye for now.